loved William Zabka in Karate Kid, and he is your favorite in Cobra Kai, too. Well, hello, and welcome to the Fact Factory. Let's get into the video with all the things you didn't know about the actor playing Johnny Lawrence. Oh, how can someone forget Johnny Lawrence or William Zabka, the one who portrayed, and now portrays again, the character of Johnny, the actor, screenwriter, producer, and director most known for his breakout part in the Karate Kid franchise. He also had an Academy Award-nominated short he worked on and is now the lead role on YouTube Red's super successful series, Cobra Kai, where he reprises his role as Johnny Lawrence 30 years later. In this video, we are going to list down facts and figures regarding the iconic and cult actor. Let's begin the countdown and encounter the 10 things you didn't know about William Zabka. But first, make sure to subscribe. Number 10. His First Movie William Zabka's breakout acting role came in his first movie, 1984's The Karate Kid. He played Johnny Lawrence, the main antagonist to the title character played by Ralph Macchio. He had no previous martial arts experience at the time, but was an accomplished wrestler. His participation in the film inspired him to learn the martial art of Tang So Do, later earning a second green belt. Number 9. He directed music. In 2007, William Zabka directed and starred in a music video for the band No More Kings, entitled Sweep the Leg. The video stars Zabka as a caricature of himself, living in a trailer in the desert and obsessed with his role in The Karate Kid. The footage includes cameos by several of the original Karate Kid cast members, including Martin Cove and Ralph Macchio. In 2010, Zabka directed Rascal Flatts in their music video for the song Why Wait. That same year, he made a cameo appearance in the film Hot Tub Time Machine. In 2013, Zabka, along with Machio, guest starred in the season 8 episode of How I Met Your Mother, The Bro Mitzvah. William Zabka also appeared in several episodes of the show's ninth season. He is currently directing commercials for clients including Little Tykes and Verizon at Hershey in Venice, California. Number 8. He Broke His Toe on the Sets of Cobra Kai Zabka got into a story about the scenes he had filmed with his fellow actors from back in the day and recalled a particularly painful fight scene with co-star Martin Cove that took a lot out of him. He went on saying, That first fight took a lot out of me. I pulled my hamstring and I broke my toe. I jammed my toe and nobody even knew. It went completely on my foot. I had to hobble over to the side. My stuntman was over there ready to jump in and do the scene if I couldn't, and I just yanked it out. It hurt, I tell you what, it was like a knife that went up my foot. I didn't tell anybody because then the stunt guy is going to come in. Number 7. He was brought up by a producer. Most of you might not be aware of the fact that Zabka was brought up in the entertainment industry as the son of a production manager who worked on many films, including the Chuck Norris flick Force Vengeance. Not just this, but his father, Stanley William Zabka, was also an assistant director of The Tonight Show. Looks like it runs in the family. Number 6. A Real Martial Artist well, let's just say he's just okay casual martial artist. Unlike Ralph Macchio, Zabka continued taking karate lessons after the original Karate Kid movie back in the early 80s. Before filming, neither he nor Machio had any formal karate experience. William Zabka trained off and on for about six years and got his green belt, which is about halfway to black, which is several degrees. But prior to Cobra Kai, Zabka was rusty and hadn't practiced for years. He resumed training daily during a couple of months before beginning filming. Machio never touched karate before or since Karate Kid and also began training with a sensei during shooting. The true disparity in skill between William and Ralph is apparent when viewing Cobra Kai. Number 5. He Can Speak Czech well, speaking different languages with fluency can be a great deal. Amazingly, William Zabka copes with two languages, 
English, and Czech. He speaks it quite effortlessly, which is impressive, isn't it? What do you think? Number 4. His Net Worth William Michael Zabka has an enormous amount of net worth, $6 million. He has earned from his career as an actor, screenwriter, director, and producer, as well as a martial artist. He has been an active actor in the entertainment industry since the 1980s. He has appeared in more dozens of movies and has starred in numerous series. Number 3. He was part of Highest Grossing Movie William Zabka's breakout role came from his first movie, The Karate Kid, the movie in 1984. The film was not only his first debut, but also the highest earning movie of his acting career. He portrayed the character of Johnny Lawrence, the main antagonist to the lead actor, which was played by Ralph Macchio. The film was made on a budget of $8 million and profited up to $100 million at the box office. Not just this, Johnny Lawrence of The Karate Kid earned $1 million per season of Cobra Kai. In the series, Zabka also serves as a co-executive producer. The web television series is based in The Karate Kid. It was launched on YouTube Red, which ran seasons 1 and 2 from 2018 to 2019. Number 2. A Screenwriter and Producer in 2003, he wrote and produced a short film called Most and shot on location in the Czech Republic and Poland. It won numerous awards at prestigious festivals, including Best Film at the Palm Springs International Festival of Short Films in 2003. In 2004, it was also nominated for an Academy Award in the Live Action Short Film category. Number 1. His Characters Zabka was simply the bad guy. His characters were mainlined evil and simple, with very few shades of grey, save for his own unexplored bullying by Sensei Kreese. We were never asked to appreciate what he brought to these roles because back then we earnestly rooted for the LaRussos, Terry's, Rick's, and Melons of the world without a second thought. William Zabka was essentially too good at playing the bad guy, the first-class jerk without any source material telling us to believe otherwise. He proudly accepted his place in the stories and sold his villains as best he could to make kids believe that good conquers all, and he was never really rewarded for it. Sure, he acted in independent movies, and sure, you can look him up on Wikipedia and see that a short film called Most he wrote and produced won festival awards and was nominated for an Oscar in 2004. But the level of success to which he is entitled, we owe him one. Or two. Well, that's it for today. What do you think about this video? Which part of the video was your favorite? Let us know in the comments section. But make sure to like and subscribe to The Fact Factory. Because you shouldn't miss out on any of our amazing videos. Also, hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post a new one. Thanks for watching. We will see you soon with another video.